OGV TV are joined with John Warrender from DCOM North Sea. Hello. Could you start off by telling us a little bit about the event today, DCOM Offshore? Yeah, today's conference is one of two conferences we run a year. The first one is in November. We run that with Oil & Gas UK. This is our own conference. We're really here to explore the interactions between the supply chain and the operating community on a number of key and topical issues relevant to the industry. We've got four main themes that we're talking about today. One is that core interaction between supply chain and the operating community. The second one is uh, internationalization, building on the Chancellor's recent call for evidence on the UK as a decommissioning hub. Then we're going to talk about the people side of decommissioning, which really relates to the workforce, workforce demographics, and how that workforce is changing over time. And then lastly, we're talking about upscaling, the way in which we get operators and uh, supply chain to collaborate on doing large campaigns. And what can we expect to see from the decommissioning sector looking ahead? Well, I think what we need to see from the decommissioning sector is more transparency about, on programs, uh, more predictability in the way the work is being delivered. There's a bit of a challenge right now with the operators in developing consistent and predictable programs and the supply chain being able to respond to those programs. Uh, in developing their own work plans. So my aspiration here is that through conferences like this, we are getting the discussion going on that level of collaboration. So we're generating a, a more predictable and sustainable decommissioning workflow. And we are seeing a little bit more positivity in the industry at the moment, um, a little bit more investment. Do you think we'll start to see results from that soon? Well, as, as a whole, the industry is seeing a higher level of capital commitment, uh, we're seeing more, more investment, particularly in new production projects and adding new reserves to the North Sea. Decommissioning is slightly different in that uh, decommissioning is a capital commitment but without a return. So the way in which decommissioning fits into those programs is, again, as I said earlier, a little bit uncertain. But again, my hope is that as the industry evolves in the way it manages the production through to the decommissioning process, that we'll see more uh, consistency and continuity in the way decommissioning is delivered. Great, thanks for joining us today, John, and enjoy the rest of the event. Thanks.